Right, I'm going to talk about a, another method we can use to convert decimal numbers into binary. This method is interesting because it uses a couple of ideas that we're all used to, we all know, but we don't really think about it a whole lot. First thing is, if you have a number in decimal, say um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, the number is odd, which means the very last digit determines the number is odd, right? And if the number is odd in binary, it would end with a 1. The very last digit would be a 1. Also, we know that this last digit, if you take it off and replace it with, a, say you replace it with a 0, we know this is a multiple of 10. And the way we can reduce this and divide by 10 is by taking away that last 0. Uh, if you have another number, say 25, and you add a 0 to it, it's the same thing as multiplying it times 10. So in binary, it's the same kind of thing. If you add a 0 to something, you are multiplying it by 2, because we're in binary. And if you take away a 0, you are dividing it by 2. So now you have that freshly in your mind. Let's go and look at some numbers. Uh, to convert to binary. So we'll use the same numbers we used in our method 1, which are 9, 75, and 234. So let's start with the number 9. What is 9 in binary? Well, we know that it is an odd number. If we divide it by 2, so we divide it by 2, then we get see it equals equals four remainder one all right so then we take that number four four divided by two equals let's see that is two remainder zero we take that two and divide it by 2. 2 divided by 2 equals, let's see, that would be 1 remainder 0. And then we take that 1 divided by 2, that equals 0 remainder 1. Alright, so this one right here, the top one right here, is the one that goes in the ones position. If we're writing this in binary, we start from this top one and work our way down. So it goes one, zero, zero, one. And now we have a bunch of other things we could add down because we're doing eight eight bit binary, right? So you had another four leading zeros on the front. And so nine in binary becomes zero 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 one zero zero one. Now, that number is kind of hard to work with because it's, well, it's a palindrome, right? It looks the same both forward and backwards. So now we'll look at the number 75. So 75, well, if we want to divide it by, let's do it this way, divide by 2 equals, <coughs> we have to figure out if we can do math, um, is, is it 30 by 36 or 7? 37 remainder 1, I believe, unless I messed up. 37 divided by 2 equals, so yeah, it's uh, 15, 18, I guess. 18 remainder 1. So 18 divided by 2 equals 9 remainder 0 9 divided by 2 equals uh, 4 remainder 1 4 divided by 2 equals 2 remainder 0 2 divided by 
2 equals 1 remainder 0. And 1 divided by 2 equals 0 remainder 1. So if we convert this into binary, or it isn't binary here, if we, if we take this right here, the top, <coughs> say that as our rightmost bit, then we get 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. Then we had a leading zero, so we have a uh, eight bits right there. And there we have the 75 written in binary. So I, th I think you can sort of see the pattern. So let's clear that and let's start oh, the new number now. We'll start with the 234. 234. <coughs> we divide it by 2, and we get a nice complex number here. And that is sort of the 1, let's see, 15, 17, 17, remainder 0. All right. So now we have 117 divided by 2. And that equals 100 and 75 by 2 is 8. Let's see, it says 58 remainder 1. All right, now we have 58 divided by 2. And that is 25, 25 29 remainder 0. 29 divided by 2 equals 14 remainder 1. 14 divided by 2 is 7 remainder 0. And then 7 divided by 2 equals 3 remainder 1. 3 divided by 2 equals 1 remainder 1. And 1 divided by 2 equals 0 remainder 1. So we take, once again, the top bit goes to the right, and that goes 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. So 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0 is 234 in binary. That is the second method of calculating out uh, or converting decimal to binary.